Well, we made it here at the campground, and when I say literally, there's tons of campers. I mean, literally. Too many. Yeah, there is. Too wall to wall campers. I'm I'm gonna say probably about 700 campers are going to be here this weekend at least for the festival. So I look forward to seeing and meeting a lot of people out here too. And yes, Daddy. Okay, we'll Daddy. talk later. <laughs> anyway. Uh, one good thing about being close, we do have one close camper next to us that we don't mind having with us because they actually like to cook and uh, they make good food. And that is none other than uh, my parents. Say hello. How y'all doing? Yay. There they are. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell that they look real <laughs> excited to be here, but it's okay. I had to change my shirt and put a hat on my head so that I can relax now. But we're gonna go out and listen to some music a little bit later on and we'll get back to you in a few and hopefully uh, meet a few more friends. So we'll be back. We're here at the K-Ball Festival in rain. As always, I promise you we're gonna have somebody exciting, somebody good. This is the legend himself, Mr. Chubby Carrier. And Chubby, I just want to say thank you. Good to be here. Yes, sir. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you wanting to be with us for a little while, having an interview. Yeah. You tell us. Well, tell the fans. And we know, we know about you. Yeah. We're your biggest fans. But we want you to tell everybody out there a little bit about you and the band and how long you've been there together and what yeah. you're all about. Yeah, yeah. Chubby Carrier, the Bayou Swamp Band, been here for 20, 25 years, touring with the band. But musically, I've been here about 35. But I took off with my band in 1989, started Chubby Carrier and the Bayou Swamp Band. My grandfather played the music. My daddy played the music. Now I'm the third generation that plays side of music today. Wow. So they passed from the accordion to the granddaddy, the daddy to me. And now I'm trying to keep the family tradition alive. And um, toured the, with the band and had so many great, great times to see in the world. But I told my daddy when I started my band, I wanted to be one of those Zydeco music that determined to take it around the world. I wanted to introduce Zydeco music to the world, man. That's what I wanted to do. So daddy said, you go ahead and do that, son. I'm going to stay here and feed the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I traveled all over, man. You name it. And I've uh, been all over Europe, uh, off the East Coast, you know, Hawaii, Canada, Alaska, North Africa. I've been all over the world. But I, I, in 2010, I won a Grammy right. for the best side of the world of the year. Right. And after the 2010 season, I decided, I said, well, you know, I won my Super Bowl. You know, that's it, you know. Right. And I kind of pulled back the reins a little bit. Now I'm doing it, uh, a lot of music home. Great, great. Well, I'll tell you what, I know everybody knows you over here, everywhere around Louisiana. You're well-known. You are the Grammy Award winner, which yeah. is awesome. That, that's like a great accomplishment. Thank you. And, you know, we love your music, and I know that people out there, if they haven't heard you, they're going to hear you now. Yes, because sir. they're going to go online, they're going to listen to you. And we just want to say that we thank you for coming out here. We thank you for giving us this interview. Yes, sir. And, you know, we just wish you a lot of success more in the years to come. And I just want, I can't wait to hear your music tonight. All right, man. I'm going to listen to you. We're going to keep the meatball rolling. There you go. All right. Thanks again. <laughs> Visiting with another one of the finest artists here from Louisiana, Mr. Joel Martin. Joel, great visiting with you. I appreciate you coming out, having the time to take with RB Destinations and tell us a little bit about yourself. So, uh, why don't you give a little bit of information about yourself and the band and, and, and what you've done and how long you've been doing this? Well, uh, my grandfather makes accordions, art accordions, so I've had a long history of knowing accordion players and getting to hang out with their bands. And, uh, it's all I've ever wanted to do. I finally got my first band when I was 18, and I've been through 10 bands since then. So almost a band every year. And uh, I've got two albums out, working on the third one right now. I've got two demos out on the radio. Uh, we play everywhere we can. I've got to do a tour in England. I did a tour in Norway. And uh, we do the Mardi Gras Ball for the Presidential Ball uh, in D.C. We're doing that again this coming up, this next year coming up. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. And happy to be here at the Cave on Party and uh, fundraising for, for a good cause and all that. Well, I know Mr. Paul is uh, excited that you're here too and stuff. And you, we heard you a while ago and 
great as always. Haven't heard you in a few years. It's great to reunite back with you again and listen to your music. Thank you. you know, I would wish you great success in the future. Thank you. You're still young, so you got a lot, a lot to go for, you know, and just continue. And uh, look, don't be a stranger, come visit us sometime. Thank you, brother. All right? Thanks. Good seeing you again. Take care. this thing. Easy. Push open. <laughs> what are you wearing? What are you wearing? A shirt. The hat. It was to match my camouflage shirt. Which I can't find. Do you have to wear camo? Yeah. Why not? Golly. I like my hat. I just thought I could blend in with the rest of the crowd today. <laughs> People drinking, dancing, partying, you name it, it was there. And it was fun. Now, tomorrow we're going to Candyland. Whether he likes it or not, because you see, he's sleeping. But he's taking me to Candyland, and he's buying me some jelly beans. And Xena dog, dog food. Yeah. Then we're going to go to Rain, and we're going to go check out Rain. And the some of the place we're going to. We're going to know, the German Fest tomorrow, too. He caught me. What are you doing? <laughs> Super dog! Da -da -da. You taking over my fast. job? Yes. Say good night, Wendy. Good night, Wendy. <laughs> hey, I'll be back with some snacks, yo. Are you in there? Yeah. I found my shirt. What shirt? Never mind. It smells like popcorn. <laughs> 